Clarifying H1N1 absence policies, the Tippecanoe School Corporation says there are flu-like symptoms in its buildings. Good evening, I'm Jeff Smith. And I'm Nicole Kahn. Thanks so much for joining us tonight. Schools are working with the Tippecanoe County Health Department as the number of H1N1 flu cases rises in the classroom. Ava Wilhite learned more about that situation today. Ava, what'd you learn? The County Health Department is closely tracking the number of flu cases reported by area schools. Dr. Michael Boland says this is just the beginning. All parents should um, presume that H1N1 is in their school at this point. Um, I think that's a very safe assumption from what I've been hearing um, and uh, just take the same precautions. County Health Officer Michael Boland says administrators from the three public school corporations are in close contact with the health department and providing the percentage of students with flu-like symptoms. Have them watch their um, percentages of, of sick. And once it reaches about 20 percent, including staff and students, then at that point they start calling and talking to us about the possibility of closure. Dr. Boland says the number of flu cases will continue to rise. With the regular flu season still a few weeks away, he says any type A influenza is being counted as H1N1. Tippecanoe School Corporation Director of Administrative Services Christy Fraley says they are receiving reports of confirmed cases of type A influenza. The TSC sent a general letter to parents last week. It lets them know that we have uh, symptoms in this area and what to watch for, as well as the, the things that TSC is, is doing in our schools. Ava Wilhite, News Channel 18. Thanks, Ava.